So now onto the cover letter. Your cover letter is an opportunity for you to tell us about you. And it's, think of it really as a way of giving us some colour on the facts that you provided in your CV. So why are you applying for a role at Slaughter and May? What interests you in corporate and commercial law? What interests you about Slaughter and May? And that's not a case of pasting things from our website. Actually step back and think, why do I really want to do this role? See it as an opportunity to explain to us why you, what, what skills you think that you have that would be relevant to this role and what attracts you to this firm. So see this as an opportunity not to repeat what's in your CV, but to expand on it. So tell us about your skills, the ones you think are most relevant and are relevant to your application. Also tell us about any interactions you may have had with the firm which have inspired you and that have made you make this application. So it, it could be that you've attended an internship of some sort, be it virtual or in person. But equally, it could be that you've gone to an event and one of Slaughter and May lawyers has been there and that's sort of piqued your interest. So feel that you can mention these things, but also why it's relevant to your application and your decision to apply. So what we're really looking for is for candidates to have clear reasons as to why they are applying to us, not generic. So for example, it might be that you're really attracted to our multi-specialist approach, but you don't wanna just paste that that's what you're interested in and tell us what we do here. Explain what skills that you have got that you think feeds into that approach and why it is an approach that you think would work well for you in your career. Also use your cover letter as an opportunity to tell us anything in your application which we might not otherwise realize but you want us to know. So for example, it might be that there are some extenuating circumstances which can explain grades that you received in a certain year. It might be that there's a gap in your CV that you want to explain to us. It might be that you've previously been pursuing another career option, but you've now decided law is right for you. So think of this as your opportunity to tell us things which might not otherwise be apparent on the face of your application. So my final top tips would be keep it short. Now, it sounds hard, but try to keep your cover letter to under a page. The reason for this is in part because a real key skill of a lawyer is to be clear and concise, as I've already mentioned. So your cover letter is an opportunity to demonstrate that. Also, make sure that you've proofread it, proofread it and proofread it again. Get a family member or a friend to also read it for you. Now, I'm not saying that if there's a typo in your letter that your application won't be progressed, but it's obviously very important that you'll make the best first impression. And remember that the first thing your interviewers will see is your cover letter and CV. So you want to make sure that there aren't typos and there aren't grammatical errors.